how's it going YouTube? It is the Hoff here, and let's get into today's video on how you can make a little bit of money if you're like me and you see that you have some traffic coming, but you're not monetized yet because YouTube is failing with the small creators. So the problem here is YouTube decided back in January, I think it was, that as of February 20th, you had to meet new requirements of 4,000 hours watched and 1,000 subscribers by that deadline of February 20th. If you didn't have it by that deadline, then you were going to be demonetized. And what they ended up doing was having you have to go back in here and submit once you hit to get reviewed and stuff like that. Well, I hit it long before that, but no one's reviewed it. And I was well over that mark before then, and it's just really irritating. So, you want to make a little bit of extra money? There's a couple things you can do. And the first is open a merchandise store. The easiest one that I know of is Teespring. So, with Teespring, you can create mugs. They have various options you can create. And you just go and you create a store. You can see the About Me. And you can design your own stuff. It's super easy. You click the start designing button on the front. And you pick what you would like to design. They have tons of stuff. They added leggings, posters, pillows, anything you can think of for the latest. And then you can do the apparel, which has tons of different options for short sleeve. And you can see that here of basic and going all the way down totes, stickers, kids, babies, premium. So you got tons of options. And with every option, there is a price difference. And you can even discount it if you want to give a discount that lasts for a certain time for your viewers. Because with this, they collect some money. You get a little bit of profit from it. So... Whatever you discount comes off of you making some money from your design and creation. And they take the legwork out of it because they're the ones that will make the product and distribute the product to your viewers. And you don't have to worry about anything. And you can see the fulfillment location is in the U.S. Or if you are over in Europe, you can select for it to be Europe location if most of your viewers are in Europe. And... With this as well, you have the different color options and you can add in your own artwork or browse artwork, but typically you're going to upload your own and resize whatever you upload, which is something that I've been trying to create more of. And as you've seen, I have a few that I've already created in different color options and you can add some outline you can add some text so you can do however you decide you can create a whole bunch of stuff and basically once three get ordered they make the design and they hold on to the design for as long as you want them to be able to make the orders continue so once three get ordered if the design time stops and you do recurring they'll ship it out and then they'll make the next one that gets ordered after that and continue that process. So you only have to have one of three orders and then after that, every order gets made because they already have the print going. The other option is for people that like to show off products, talk about different things, whether it's fitness, whatever. And here's some best sellers right now, but pretty much you could type in anything. So if you want the, let's search for Echo, you would type in here echo and what you do is you click here and you're talking about the Amazon echo and you go ahead and do the get link and then you would right click copy link address and then you would go to your YouTube page click on your videos and then you'll see how bad some of my videos are doing how good some other ones have been doing and you'd select like this video right here and you would go ahead and input the link and we'll just go to the bottom and input 
the length there, but you see this is a big length. So you would do the tiny URL and you would paste it in there, make a tiny URL and it says copy that to the clipboard. So then you go back in and you say that's too big of a URL. And if this wants to work with me, it's going a little too fast. There we go. And you would paste and there's your tiny URL. And then you can add caption in the front saying by the Amazon Echo here. And then save your change. And now from this one on anyone can see there's the link for the Amazon Echo. And then what happens is whenever they buy it, you look at the reports and this is your Amazon associate account, which you got to sign up for and they review your account and you got to have three items within, I think it's uh, 180 days and you can click and do a custom date range to find out how well you are doing. And I had two clicks during that time. And let's see, custom date range, and we'll just select April 1st. And here we had 16 clicks. People looked at stuff. Two items were shipped. Someone didn't like one of the items. They returned it. Uh, the shipped item revenue was $60 and total earnings of $240. So apparently someone did not like one of the items that were bought. And it says what was bought. And I think this is one that was returned. But it's the heat gun that I recommended because it's what I use and a few others have used for our water cooling. Um, I I've tested out some stuff, but I haven't set up my hardline tubing yet because I need to buy fittings, but I've used the heat gun with other things recently just to see how well it works. And then as you see, it's 240 and then the way they do it is when you set up, you can do four payments and you can see payment history which I don't have any right now because I only have a balance of 240 and you have to actually make, I think it's $10 bare minimum before they end up paying you. And with 10 bucks, you can select, you want an Amazon gift card. They can direct deposit it if it's going to be large amounts of money, but that's typically how most of these unbox reviewers that do the unboxings and they do a lot of unboxings. That's how they get a lot of extra revenue is they do things like that try to help gain some extra money because as you may or may not have noticed the YouTube adpocalypse hit where a bunch of high ads where it was companies that were paying premium pricing to show ads across all of YouTube pulled out and this is what you had left was some smaller ads from smaller companies and that caused the revenue that people were making to go down a lot compared to what they used to make. And when you have people that are running YouTube as a business now with employees under them, it was getting a little harder. So they tried to find more ways using Patreon and other aspects, which you could do that as well, Patreon. And that's what a lot of people do is they jump onto Patreon and they say, hey, look, if you donate this much per month, that um, then you get this from me. And you got to offer them goods and services for that. With this, for the Amazon Associate account, the only thing you're offering them is the ability to get the product that you're showing off. And Amazon gives you a cut of that for telling them to buy from Amazon versus anybody else. There's other places that do it as well. Um, I think Razor Gaming does it in a few other spots. But Amazon has most of the items from other places. So if Amazon already has it, why not just double check that Amazon has it? And as long as it's not a whole lot more, then just go ahead and submit for them to get it on Amazon. Because you're going to get the cut of that. And there's no worries then with you getting the cut on um, having to know the cheapest price to find all this stuff. And now if you find it cheaper somewhere and it's by a decent margin, then by all means, definitely post the link for the cheaper stuff because you're trying to help people out. Don't skim off of people trying to get the money when they can save like five to $10 elsewhere. 
So these are a couple different methods that I know of. And there's plenty of different links that you can do products on, like everything under the sun. And if you end up having a blog or a website that you're running as well, you can do Amazon links where they show popular products that the person, basically it's kind of taking the person's search history of what they looked at on Amazon, because most people end up leaving Amazon logged in in the background and stuff. Amazon takes that and they populate what's the latest and greatest stuff they looked at across Amazon and stuff they added to their wish list and they say, hey, you know, would you like to buy it? Well, if they click on that from your site, then you also get some money from that. It's the same as sharing with the link. So there's that you can do if you have blogs or sites um, that you work on. So it doesn't have to necessarily, for that aspect, be something you're showing products off and stuff. But those are a couple different ways that you can make a little bit extra money without having a YouTube account that is monetized. Because you'll see here that monetization, channels under review, I have over a thousand more hours than what's needed, and I'm over 500 subscribers, almost 600 more subscribers than what's needed, but my account status is reviewed, and they'll email me when it's approved, which it was approved before, or everything was good. And then Amazon came back with this new rule, and it hit me kind of hard. Because I was doing giveaways, my channel was growing, everything was looking good, and then BAM. So I tried to come up with other ways. Now granted, this may work for you better than it works for me right now because as you see, I, I don't have that many t-shirts I designed and I only sold I think four of the shirts and then the Amazon account only had two people buy stuff. Because I'm not always getting products in because that costs a ton of money for me. So when I get some stuff that I buy, I try to show it off. But I don't show off everything I buy because sometimes stuff's not worthy. Just to show off like a radiator for my PC. I buy it. It's not really worthy of cracking open and showing it to you guys. But I could always show you the radiator when I have it installed and the new temps. That's about it, which if you want to see the new temp from the radiator, I mean, right now it's a, uh, right now it's a 25% and it fluctuates, but it goes anywhere from 33 on down. Idle gets pretty nice. And I have behind me, if you can see it, there is a 12, I think it's 12,000 BTU air conditioner and this room is super cold to the point where I feel like I need to sometimes be wearing a sweater and long pants so I could up it if I want to but generally computers like to be super cold and being able to pull in cold air through the radiator the colder the better and it's not like I'm freezing to the point of dying or anything like that I could still play games I still feel kind of comfortable it's just a little bit colder than what I would like it to be but computer rooms typically like to be colder. And before I got this AC, this room would be about 80 degrees Fahrenheit uh, most days during the summer. During the winter, it would stay pretty nice. But summertime, it's gotten really hot for being down south. So there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys have great success in and outside of YouTube trying to make a little bit of money. But just keep in mind that the Amazon account will help you generate money off of what people are buying. So that's great. But for the designs, you got to make stuff that people want. If you make something and people don't like it, they're not going to buy it. And then you're going to be getting pissed because they're not buying it. But it's because of your designs. I mean, for me, the designs are there and I only sold four. So what does that say? People either don't want to support my channel because one's the channel shirt. Or people just don't like the melting keyboard shirt or it's elsewhere for that one. And they're maybe not PC Master Race and understand the melting keyboard aspect of it. 
I don't know. And I'm looking at other designs as well uh, for my football, where it's going to be the football channel shirt of Panini design, making fun at Panini points. So, I don't know. If you like that kind of stuff, then buy it. If not, hey, thanks for looking at it. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you thumbed up the video, and hopefully, you are a subscriber because that's what ultimately helps everyone within our YouTube community is subscribing and watching the content. Thank you guys for that. I appreciate it, and I'll see you guys next time.